Hey guys, I'm Jamin. This is my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 onto a Lenovo computer. Before we get going, two quick things. First, please remember to like and share if this video was helpful. If you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair content like this, please feel free to subscribe. Second and last thing, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to crypto miners and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto without investing your own money. You can check out this link for more information or I'll fill you in more at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. To install Windows 11 onto my Lenovo computer, I'm going to be using this, a Windows 11 install media USB. Now I created this myself for free off of the Microsoft website. You can check out this video to see how I did that. You're going to need another working computer. You can borrow a friend's, use your second computer, go to a library. If you don't have access to another computer to make this yourself, you'll probably have to purchase it. When you purchase it, make sure you get install media and not recovery media. A lot of sellers try to label recovery media as install media, but you cannot install Windows with recovery media. Uh, there'll be a link up top on all of the tools and supplies I use here. Look at the repair tools list and you'll see some examples of Windows 10 and Windows 11 install media that you can use for this operation. So now I'm gonna take my Windows 11 install media USB I'm going to plug it into the USB port of my Lenovo. I'm going to press power and start tapping on F12. On most Lenovos, it's F12 is going to access the menu you want. On some Lenovos, you'll have to hit enter first and then F12 on the next menu. On some Lenovos, it's escape. Uh, there's all different kinds for different models, but it's usually F12 or enter and then F12. If you can't find yours, try the various function keys. Uh, look up your exact model or message me if you're having trouble and I can help you out. But on this model, I'm going to hit power, start tapping on F12 right away. So now that we're here, I have two options, my Windows Boot Manager or my USB device SanDisk. I'm going to go down to the USB device. That's what we're going to boot off of. Okay, so here's where we're going to start choosing options. As a side point, uh, I'm using a USB mouse right now. If your touchpad doesn't work, if your tab keys aren't working right now, uh, you may need to plug in a USB mouse like I did. So I'm going to go down and hit next. Install now. Accept the TNCs. And you have two options here. Upgrade, install Windows and keep files. Or custom, install Windows only. For the sake of the video, I'm doing a custom install. I'm not saving anything for a lot of my troubleshooting reasons. If uh, the operating system's not functioning correctly, I find it's always better to do this one. So again, for the sake of the video, this is the one that I'm choosing. I don't save any data. I erase everything because I'm often just trying to wipe everything. Um, if you want to save data, you're going to save the partition that your data is on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete them all for the video. But again, you would save a partition if, if there's data on it that you want to save. So I'm going to delete all of them until all I have left is unallocated space, which is where I want to install Windows. I'll hit next. And there it goes. Just a quick reminder at this point, guys, make sure your computer is plugged in. If it's not plugged in during an install and the computer battery runs out, the computer shuts off, um, that could damage the install process. You may have to restart it all over again, only it may be a little more pain in the butt to get it going. So make sure your computer is plugged in um, so you don't lose power during the install. Your windows may need to restart once or twice during this install process, that's fine. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more as you just saw on many of your devices, Cortana will start talking. You can either let her walk you through it, you can respond yes or no to her questions, or you can mute her like I just did and just go through it yourself with your mouse. At this point, you want to unplug your install media USB. If your computer's restarting to finish the install process, it may keep seeing that USB, keep accessing it on the restart and thinking it needs to start all over again installing. So good idea to pull your USB out right now.
So I'm going to select your region. I'm going to leave it on the US. It's asking for your keyboard layout. Again, I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm not going to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm going to skip that. Now it wants to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Once you've connected to a network, hit next. This asks you to name your device. Uh, I'm just going to skip that for now, but you can put whatever you want to in here. And then this is where it wants you to link to your Microsoft account, or if you don't have one, you can create one. This is where it asks you to create a pin. So this is where you choose your privacy settings, uh, location data, diagnostic data, um, tailored experience, ad advertising. Uh, this is where you can turn things on and off. So go through these and see which one you want to do. I don't like giving people data unless I'm getting paid for it, so I typically turn them all off. But uh, you can do what you want. Hit accept when you're done. Again, you can customize your experience a, a little more, but f for the sake of the video, I'm, I'm just going to skip this. And then this is allowing you to back up your files with OneDrive. Um, you can choose to only save files to this PC and not back anything up. Um, or you can just hit next and allow that to happen. Uh, you can try this Microsoft Office. I'm, I'm just going to skip it. And now it's finishing up the, uh, the install. Okay, so now we're at the desktop of Windows 11. So there you go, that's a successful install of Windows 10. At this point, um, it's a new version of your operating system. A lot of updates are gonna need to be processed. Security updates, operating system updates, driver updates, uh, things like that. So you probably wanna get all your updates run. There'll be a video link below in the description on how to process all Windows 11 updates. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. At this point, guys, if you have any questions or comments, Check out the FAQs below, may save you some time. Uh, if you have to leave me a question, I do try to get back to you guys a couple times a day at least. Now before I let you go, as promised, a few extra words on my sponsor, NiceHash. So NiceHash, again, is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to people who mine cryptocurrencies, and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to put your computer to work without you having to work, make some side money. And as mentioned before, it's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no risk to your investment. Uh, I'm not saying to go out and buy a computer for this, but most of us own computers that are far more powerful than anything we need day to day, and that idle, unused power just sits there. It's a great way to put that to work. Uh, you can check out this link again for more info. Leave me a question or comment on that as well, and I'll try to guide you in the right direction. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.